pine knot carving is basically a carving that's carved into a branch of a pine tree. A pine knot carving captures and embodies the essence of our northern evergreen forests. It's fun to think about the history of the branch that had its origins as a small seedling a hundred years ago or more. It's interesting to consider the life cycle of the tree that was once majestic in whose branches the birds of the air sat aloft to survey the land beneath. There's also a considerable amount of time that the tree sits on the forest floor until it rots enough for the branch to be pulled free. Pine knot is basically a branch piece that has rotted out of the tree. It's an otherwise useless piece of wood that is destined to rot into the ground. There's beauty in finding the hidden treasure, something that many see as useless. There's a lot of nature left on a pine knot carving. The hair and beard melt into the natural grain of the wood, and the branch is visible above the carving as though the face had been hiding within the tree for generations as it grew. be talking a little bit about pine knots today and pine knot carving. Uh, this is a pine knot and a pine knot carving and uh, basically what it is is this was a branch that, that grew out of the tree. Uh, if you can kind of picture it growing out of the tree like that. This is where it was connected to the tree and then this is the part that was still kind of rooted into the tree. And, uh, 
that's the part that gets that gets carved. Uh, they just make awesome carvings, and uh, you know, for for other wood carvers and stuff that are looking for something cool or different or unique to carve, um, it, it's just a real interesting medium. And uh, even if you're not a wood carver, maybe you love to to be in the woods or, or go to the mountains and. You know, if you if you learn how to find a pine knot, you could get your own pine knot and then take it to somebody who does carve. Or it just may be a cool thing. So we're gonna learn about pine knots. Um, this is a small pine knot here. You can kind of see what it looks like and where it was in the tree. And I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and pull out a small pine knot. This one is uh, too small to carve, but just so you kind of get the idea. Uh, most of these you can just step on and they'll, they'll come out. And what happens is the log hits the ground and it, it, it begins to absorb moisture and it, it rots. And then these branches that are stick, sticking off the top of the log uh, don't rot as quickly. They stay dry and also this branch piece is full of resin, and so it doesn't doesn't rot as readily. But this is uh, this is basically it. Um, so your your carving would go down here on this level, and now we're we're going to go ahead and try and pull one out. This one that we're getting ready to pull out is a little more difficult. It's kind of stuck in the log, and you do have to find these at just the right stage so that they pull out easy but also so that they're they're not too rotten to carve so it can be a little tricky and I know in my area they're not terribly hard to find but it's it's difficult enough that when you find one it's a pretty cool thing so we're gonna go ahead and try and get this big one out this is the piece uh, this is the piece we're looking at it seems a little loose uh, again usually these will pop right out if you just step on them but this one seems a little bit tight so I brought a sledgehammer So that's it. The hair will kind of go here. Uh, the face will go here. And then these pieces that kind of go off work really nice for the hair. And, uh, that's a, a really big pine knot. So we're, we're here uh, in another log we found. And uh, this one has some looser kind of pine knots that, that may be a better demonstration. But if you come over here and look at this one, you can see this one's kind of uh, just rotted down to the point where it's fallen over. And again, it's not a great carving knot, but just kind of gives you the idea what happens. Uh, again, this, this piece here, I don't think is going to be good for carving, but it kind of gives you an idea what to look for. A lot of these will just pull right out. So again, the carving would go down here. Uh, these branch pieces are so full of resin that they're actually quite heavy and dense. Um, again, I think there's better ones than this, so we're gonna leave it.
what I'm doing is just trying to shake off some of the loose rotten wood and uh, this is actually going to make a very cool carving this is uh, this is kind of what you might call a trophy pine knot this is a really great piece so we're gonna keep this one I've been collecting these pine knots for years. Each one is a little treasure found hiding in the woods. If you'd like to see a more in-depth video on how to carve a pine knot, I've linked a few of my other videos in the description below. Thanks for watching my video. I hope it helped. I'd especially like to thank everyone who has subscribed.